Anybody want to hazard a guess as to what we're going to do today? Super windy out today guys, but we're going to go try a couple hours of metal detecting. I'm going to just hit a park in town, and then I was thinking about doing the beach. End of season beach. I don't know how many guys have been down there, but we might find some good stuff. Let's go for a few hours and give it a whirl. So I started squash last week, and Gary is fighting uh, tendonitis again in the elbow. I went for treatment yesterday. going to swing for a couple hours today, and John and I are supposed to go out tomorrow. He's found a new spot that he thinks is going to be great. So <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I remember last time I had the tennis elbow ah it was like 12 months of horrible horrible rehab and so i'm gonna go easy couple hours even if we're finding well i can't say that because if we find good stuff it could turn into an all day you guys know how i am right so New who knows text message from john parsons there's john right there okay that was really bugging me when i was driving flapping around full of leaves it's gonna be really windy today guys I'm gonna start here in this little park uh, lots of turn-of-the-century stuff here we've dug before so who knows first hole 25 sounds like a coin not a coin square nail that might be why I'm giving up on this hobby the disappointment's getting me. Not an oldie, but hey, second hole, I'll take it. The ground is really wet, so there's lots of signals. So hopefully we can get some good old coins. Uh, I just put my hand in goose shit. That's my palm print. I think it's modern. Well, there are definitely more goose grenades here than treasure. I'll show you guys what I've gotten in the first 20 minutes. So every one of those rang up as a coin, 25 or better. So shame on you, Knox. You should do better than that. All these old square nails, they ring up just like coins. Fortunately, there's a beach right across the road. We're gonna go down there and make our way over to the beach. Get out all this goose crap. But we found our first treasure. <laughs> Somebody's visa. <laughs> the beach is the last place I figured we'd find squatch evidence, but hey, look at that. He even comes to the beach on occasion. Hey, that's a heavy duty. That's a good one. I'm keeping that. That's going in the tool shed. I know you guys thought I was joking, but that's a $50 shovel all day long. So far, that's the only thing that's made my trip worthwhile. <laughs> Man, I just needed a minute to get out of that wind. I don't know how much of this footage is going to be usable. It is relentless. It's like 50, 60 kilometers an hour out there. But I'm out of the house. I'm doing something, so we're not done yet. I'm going to go across the road to another little park. Maybe even back to the beach. The beach looked promising. But I hate the beach. I only dug two holes down at the beach. I never did find what I was looking for. They were big items. I was halfway to China. And I got sand in my underwear. That's why I hate the beach. There's one, it might be older. So on the phone it looks like it's flat in the bottom of the hole, but it's actually not, it's in the sidewall. So good find for the Knox. That's on edge. I think that's older. Wow, hey, we did it. It's a Weedy. It's a 101 year old coin, guys. 1919 Weedy. That makes my trip. 
Look at that, 1919. And it looks to be in really good shape. I'll clean it up when I get home and take a picture for you guys. That is worth dodging goose grenades for right there, guys. That is the fourth hundred-year-old penny or coin that I've pulled out of this park. Nobody seems to even have a clue the history of these parks in our own towns. Nobody comes down here. I think I'm the only guy. Either that or I'm just that good. No, I'm not that good. Next hole right beside that old penny. I thought it was going to be a silver coin for sure. Deep and a 30 signal. 1960 Canadian. Yeah, I even found one of those. Hey, there's one for Gage. He's gonna like that. All right guys, we're gonna call it there. It is bloody cold out, but you can't beat that. That's not a bad trip, right? We got a heavy duty shovel for the wife. We got a nice ball for my dog and a 1919 penny for my collection. Thanks for watching guys. Oh, I know. I know. Not yet. I know. It's a new toy. You ready? Sit, buddy. Ready? Told you. Everybody's happy.